Ramadan is sadly coming to an end. You never want it to end. It's such a happy, such a blessed time of the year. And you just want it to go on and on and on and on. But sadly, it's going to end on Tuesday, I believe. And then we have Eid on Wednesday, which is just a celebration. And so... I did not weigh in last week. It was that time of the month. I was not weighing in. I don't think I weighed in at all during Ramadan except that one week because honestly, I didn't want to. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. This Ramadan's been a little rough, okay? I don't know what's going on, but I have felt, ex I've been really extremely tired. I don't know why I'm not fasting. The days are shorter than other Ramadans so it's not like I've been fasting for 17 hours so I don't know what's going on I blame it on the time change that's the thing I blame it on the time change Ramadan started right on the day of the time change and I, I don't think I ever recovered well I did but I also feel really tired really weak really whatever and I think it's because I wasn't really eating that much in the morning for our morning meal for Seri because I was trying to stay within my points and then I realized two, three hours later, I'm hungry. Five hours later, I can't even function. That's kind of pathetic if you think about it. I do. I'm just like, that. that's kind of pathetic, girl. Like, you can't go all this time without eating. Mm -mm -mm. I'm pathetic. It is what it is. But yeah, I just felt really weak. And so, but also in the morning, I did weigh in today. And the reason I haven't been weighing in is because in the morning, no one wants to weigh in after you have a meal. No one does. So, I don't know. I was just like, I just didn't also want to see it. I was like, I know I'm going to be up. I don't want to see it. Ugh. But I kicked that to the curb this morning and I went and I weighed in and I was up a total of five pounds. Total up six pounds in total this Ramadan. And here's the thing. I did not want to be in the 170s again i'm back to 172 i think and i haven't weighed this much since august of last year crazy and i'm not i'm not happy about that and i feel it oh i feel it i'm like oh pants don't fit clothes don't fit and i just feel really black and gross so and it's funny because once you've been once you become accustomed to a certain lifestyle, like eating a certain way, eating foods that are better for you, exercising, doing all these things, that when you let go of any of those elements and you give yourself a little bit of leeway, you just feel gross, right? Like for everyone who, for everyone who's on Weight Watchers, or not on Weight Watchers, but following some sort of weight loss plan, doing their thing, don't you notice that once you give yourself some sort of leeway some sort of like you you relax you just don't feel as good you don't feel you feel gross you feel gross right right i'm not the only crazy one but right isn't that true so yeah i i do feel it and i can't wait to start tracking again getting back into it so you're like okay so what's the plan now I was going to keep the six fast of Shawal, which is like six extra credit pass. But yeah, no, I do, I do not have it in me. I feel weak. I feel not great. So maybe next year. Hopefully, God willing, next year, not this year. So I did. Here's something fun. So I'm going to start uh, tracking and just being on Weight Watchers again. And I'm going to, uh, oh yeah, uh, oh, there's a, there, I found a women's only gym that's in the city nearby. And it's great. It's a women's only gym. They have like sort of a boot camp, sort of, I don't know, but they have weights and they have that, that, you know, that thing at the gym that has a little line or whatever my gym goes. Let me know what it is. That line, that little, I don't know. And you pull it. <laughs> it's like a it's like it's a cord or something and you pull it yeah they have that anyways they have trainers female trainers and it's it's great it looks great i'd love to try it out so i i i might be going there this friday eee! a little nervous a little excited we'll we'll see i do my workouts at home but i just feel like 
hey, you know, why not try something different? Why not try something different in 2024? And I don't have to go all five days. I don't have to go a lot. But the first, the drop-in classes are $15, which I think is not bad. So I, I just, I'm going to try it. And I messaged them and I said, hey, I'd love to come in at the 610 class on Friday. And she was like, yeah, sure, come in. And so a little, little excited and a little bit scared, but I'll do what I can do. And if I like it, then I'll keep going. I also would love to try Pilates because all the videos I see of people trying Pilates, their bodies are insane. Like it's, I'm just like, wow. And I'm not saying every single person who does Pilates looks like that, but I, I'm sold on Pilates. It looks really hard. It looks like something I'd like. And I did find a Pilates studio in another city. And she has like $16 for the first class, which I'd love to try. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to get on that. I'm going to get on that. So this year, let this year, this year, just let it be a time for change. You know, you can't be stuck in your old ways. If you've been so anti-exercise, anti-weight watchers, anti-weight loss in general, you gotta change that. You gotta change that. Go in with a positive mindset. Oh, it never works for me. Yeah, it does. You just don't want to stick to it. You don't realize that it's a lifestyle change. You don't realize that it's for your whole life. It's just not, it's not just a fun thing you do for 10 days. Uh, it's, you incorporate it into your life. So if you want to lose that weight, like, I, I, I don't know what to say to people who say that, like, people who are that down on themselves or who are that down on it or who are so insanely against working out like i don't know what to say to you man i i really don't know what to say to you i can say all the things i can say all the encouraging things i can say all the degrading things like really you really don't want to work out you really want to be a couch potato your whole life like i, I don't know what to say to those people I really don't. It has to be something you do. You have to get over that fear at some point. You have to say, like for me, yeah, I'm terrified of working out at the gym, but I think that, you know, a women's only gym and a gym that's more of a boot camp type of thing. I don't, I don't mind it. Have you guys ever done curves? I used to do curves a long time ago. Hated curves. I hated it. I, I just felt like, like older ladies there. And I was really young at that time. And I'm like, this is lame. This isn't even hard. Like, this is boring. I hate it. And I actually gained weight during that time. So this was years ago. I hated curves. But a lot of people loved curves. Like a lot of people loved it. That was their thing. And I don't know. It wasn't for me. But it's sort of that type. Anyways, it's not curves. But it's set up in that fashion. Like you have one station with certain weights. And another station with different weights. And I'm really excited to try that. So I'm going to see if I can film there. Maybe um maybe get a little bit of footage see what goes on but yeah i'm really excited for that on friday yay and if i like it maybe i'll do more classes i know they have an upper body and a total body day so maybe maybe i'll start doing that i'm still gonna be doing my beach body workouts but and then just just that's it man that's all i'm doing I'm just doing my exercises i need to eat within my points start doing michaela thomas meals again and I, I like her meals, you know, so just get back to doing what I'm doing. The way it'll come off, hopefully. My gosh, I would love to get like these six pounds off. I feel so gross. I do. I do feel gross. I don't feel confident. I don't feel energetic. I don't feel like doing anything. I just feel like I just want to hide. Like just looking at myself right now, I'm like, oh, but like my arms, I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I don't feel good. I don't feel, I don't feel like dressing up. I don't feel like doing makeup. I don't feel like getting dolled up or anything. So, and I don't, and I won't feel that way until I get the weight off. And that's just me. That's just me. I'm not saying that's you. I'm not saying that should be you. That's just me. So anyways, that's how it's going. So thank you guys for listening to my little rant and i will see you guys in my next video so be sure to subscribe and like and i will leave a comment let me know how you're doing bye